Good evening. This is the video newsletter for Buy Sell Short for Tuesday, July 5th. Starting off with the 15 minute chart of the day of the uh, Dow. And you can see, you know, over the last week, just a massive rally in the Dow up uh, 700 points, pretty much just vertical, led by a handful of large cap stocks, uh, namely some of the biggies like Google up 60 bucks over the last week. Amazon, Netflix up 20 bucks today, you know, and it's essentially been a large cap driven market. We have seen the S&P or the Russell rally 5%, but the stocks that we typically would see start to move have not moved yet. And that simply is because we continue to see the large caps just streak and go up, you know, really large amounts each day for the Really nice small cap plays. We need the Dow to sort of relax, which is what we could be looking at here. Even though looking at the 15-minute chart over most of the session today was a pretty tight consolidation, even with the Portugal downgrade news, the fact that the market was able to hold up like it uh, did uh, is a testament to the strength out there. Now, if we do see a break of that 12 550 level, we could be in store for a decent sized pullback, and that actually would be nice if we got it over the next couple of sessions. You get a better picture here on the Dow daily chart. You can see we halted right where this big breakdown started late in May, was at 12,574. We got almost up to that level today, and then we have this possible topping action, at least in the near term. I'd really like to see a little bit of a pullback in the Dow given the size of this move. You see the same thing on the SMH, nice big rally, pullback today. You know, we found some resistance at the 50 day. And, you know, even looking at the financial index, you can see the same thing. Big rally halted at a key moving average area right below where that sell off began back in late May. So, you know, we could see a couple of days of weakness, but, you know, what we're really looking for is to see. Other than these China garbage plays, we want to see the rally spread out. We want to start seeing some of these small cap stocks bust out. We haven't really jumped into a whole lot of them yet because, frankly, traders are still playing that same game. Unless a stock is up big on volume, they're staying away. That won't last. You know, traders playing that game will get their fingers burnt off. It is inevitable. It happens every time. So we're going to be a little bit of patient here and play a couple of nice bottomed out plays that should see at least a near term move. One of those plays, ASTI, like we said in the alert, this one got hammered into the quarter end last week, down 40%. Nice consolidation here. And as I mentioned, and you can see in the little box here, this is a stock, you know, follow the pink line. This is a stock that loves trading at its 8-day moving average and loves bouncing back to its 20-day exponential whenever it has a big sell-off, just like it did recently. 8-day moving average is 117, 15% higher. 20-day is 120, 18% higher. Pretty oversold, stops 95 cents, decent risk reward as we see this rally spread out. Another one. NEI consolidating very, very tightly here. Now, you got two decisions. You could buy a break of 114 or wait for a break of 121. I'll definitely be adding to my position on a break of 121, especially if it comes on volume. Another stock to keep an eye on that has been very, very frustrating over the last couple of weeks is COOL. Now, check out the action on the chart. Very identical to what we saw in May. We had a big run up. Consolidation for about a week, and then we had that run into the earnings report high at 450. So we had a decent run up. We've been consolidating for a couple of days here. What'll probably be the trigger is a break through that 50 day moving average at 321. And we're also looking at a possible MACD cross probably within the next day or so, and that might be the catalyst, coupled with a break on the RSI up through the 50 level. So definitely one to keep a very close eye on over the next couple of days. ALXA, rule of two play, still waiting for it to materialize. Our early entry, you know, we've been sitting on it for a couple of days now. Uh, continue to hold this one. We'll be looking to add the real position on a break of two, with 220 being the target. The last rule of two play, AIS, you know, has just been a monster mover. 
over the last week or so. So the strategy continues to work. So we're just going to wait for that $2 break to press our positions. A-L-A-N. Big run last week on news of that merger. Three down days in a row. Actually looked like we were going to put in a bottom today, but the shorts moved in late in the day. This is a low flow play. They're playing with dynamite on this one, I think. And I would expect to see this one try to reverse course to the upside tomorrow. So let's see if that is the case. Quick mention on a short play, even if you don't short it, this is, you know, this garbage quantum fuel. We've played it in the past. Up huge over the last couple of days. They got no cash. Uh, they got a lot of debt. Big run up. As you can see, big run ups. This one typically gives it back really, really quick. This was day three, short on day three at the close. Target 425, four, and then the 20 day exponential 376. If you're shorting this one, you would want to place your stops at 498 or maybe even 475 if you want to play it a little tight to the chest. But uh, definitely one, even if you don't short it, to keep an eye on for some weakness over the next couple of days. That's it for the update. You know, we don't have a whole lot of plays active right now. We continue to be high cash. This was a really, really boring session today. Uh, you know, given the huge move we had on Friday and the big move last week, you know, we need something like that. But we want to start to see some of these small cap plays really start to go starting tomorrow. Um, definitely check out the popper scan. There's a, some very nice setups on that. So definitely check that out. And I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.